communications engineering is one of the most rapidly developing sectors of technology. For the past few years, progress has been phenomenal and the impact has been felt everywhere. The Finnish top-level expertise in this area has secured communications engineering as one of our most significant export sectors. Communications engineering experts are in the front line, building the next level of our information society, the ubiquitous society, in which practically every type of media content is created, distributed and consumed digitally using mobile devices. For instance, in the ubiquitous society, our glasses will be able to tell us that there is an interesting comic shop just around the corner, that the car's engine will let the driver know directly which part has broken down, or mismatched socks will find each other after the laundry has been done. Already wireless options and an information network such as the Internet have made information accessible to an increasing number of people and have brought people worldwide closer together. The communications engineering sector produces software and data systems that are used, for instance, in mobile phones, internet services and hospital equipment. Communications engineering covers many different types of areas, including content providing and theoretical method development. To begin with, the focus in communications engineering studies is on gaining a strong basic knowledge in mathematics. In addition to this, a master of science in this field must have a command of the basics of electronics and programming techniques. The program also offers the chance to study business-related subjects at the same time. Since the degree program is extensive, there are a lot of study options to choose from. The common factor throughout is a cooperative atmosphere, which is actively encouraged. Also, close cooperation with various companies is often a typical feature of this program. Communications engineering is full of opportunities that help increase human interaction, promote safety or receive and send information. In the planning stages of the devices and technology, the engineers also consider the needs of the end user. And in doing this, they aim to develop increasingly user-friendly devices and services. 